with all of their hosts, the earth and everything on it, the seas and all that is in them, and you preserve them all. The hosts of heavens worship you. You are the Lord God who chose Abraham and brought him out of Ur of the Chaldeans. You, have, you gave him the name Abraham. You found his heart faithful before you and made a covenant with him to give the land of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, the Perizzites, Jebusites, and Gergesites. To give it to his descendants, you have performed your words, for you are righteous. You saw the affliction of our fathers in Egypt, and you heard their cry by the Red Sea. You showed your signs and wonders against Pharaoh, against all his servants, and against all the people of his land. For you knew that they acted proudly and against them. So you made a name for yourself as it is this day. And you divided the sea before them so that they went through the midst of the sea on dry land. And their persecutors you threw into the deep as a stone into the, many, into the mighty waters. And moreover, you led them by the day with a, cloud, a cloudy pillar and by night with a pillar of fire to give them light on the road which they sh should travel. You came down also on Mount Sinai and spoke with them from heaven and gave them just ordinances and true laws, good statutes and commands. You made known to them your holy Sabbath and commanded them precepts and statutes and laws by the hand of Moses, your servant. You gave them bread from heaven for their hunger and brought them water out of the rock for their thirst and told them to go and to possess the land which you had sworn to give them. But they and our fathers acted proudly hardened their necks and did not need your commandments. They refused to obey and they were not mindful of your wonders that you did among them, but they hardened their necks. In their rebellion, they appointed a leader to return to their bondage. But you are God, ready to pardon, gracious and merciful, slow to anger, abundant in kindness, and did not forsake them. We serve an awesome and mighty God. And I am so glad he is my God. How about you? Amen. Let's all stand. Sometimes I'll read a piece of scripture just jumps off the pages at me and just reminds me of how awesome and mighty and wonderful he is. And I thank him for his precious word. Father God, we thank you indeed for your word, for this day, for this time, for this opportunity, Lord, to come together as a family to lift up your name and to worship you and exalt you, Lord. <sighs> what can we say but thank you? And yet it doesn't seem to be enough. So Father, we ask you to bless our time together. Touch each and every heart in this room, Lord. You know who's here. There's no one here by accident, Lord. Be glorified, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.
Cause you put on flesh, lived a blameless life My curse on the cross you bore And you ripped the doors off the sea of death Chains fell to the floor Now the serpent's crushed his bended edge Pray forevermore You are my portion My cup and you make my life secure
Oh, your grace so free washes over me. You have made us new now. Life begins with you. It's your endless love pouring down on us. You have New now life begins with you, Lord, with you. Lord, it does. We thank you so much that in Christ we are new creations, and that the old has passed away, the old all has become new. Lord, we trust in that alone. You guys can be seated. Savior say thy strength indeed is small child of weakness watch and pray find in me that all in all Jesus paid it all all to him I owe sin Left a crimson stain, he washed it white as snow.
stand on the earth for I know my redeem lives and in the end he will reign on the earth though my flesh it be destroyed yet with my eyes I will see God, for I know that my Redeemer lives, and I will stand with Him on that day.
And Lord, they reported of these things. And Lord, we know, Lord, you've spread, Lord, your gospel truth all over the world. And Lord, it's reached us. Lord, you've shown us your mercy. You've given us your grace. God, we thank you for the faith that we have in you. Lord, it's stronger Lord, than anything that the enemy can throw at us. Lord, we trust in you and you alone. God, we thank you Lord, for the hope that we have in you. Lord, we know, we know that we will see you one day face to face. Lord, right now, here, I pray that you please fill us with your spirit. Lord, I pray that you would please teach us that you would comfort us, that you would convict us. Lord, lead us in your truth. Show us your ways, God. In Jesus' name.